see on this we've got a little plastic paper sticker thing that points to the USB charging port on the left, memory card, the charging dock connector, back home and task buttons, volume and zoom, that's on the right hand, that's uh, zoom if you're using the camera, the power button, which Sony told me is becoming more and more of this sort of staple on their products. Everybody knows, hey, that's a Sony, and they actually had me close my eyes and pick up the phone and say, where's the power button? And micro SIM card slot, this is T-Mobile, so you get 4G LT support. On the front, you've got this five inch display. It's Bravia Engine 2 technology throwing that anywhere um, let's see we'll go to the back here again we've got black and actually sort of like a carbon fiber inlay here along the edges Sony promises that's to make it extra strong so now we've gone over the sort of the side features of the phone it is IP 55 and 57 resistant that means resistant against water and dust I'll get to that in a second let's just go through the box real quick because this is an unboxing you get the charger looks like they sort of put it together for us as you can tell it's just a straight-up white box so I think they kind of set us up this empty bag, our SIM tray or card, and some Sony manuals. You've got guidelines and important information and your start guide for the Xperia Z. While we turn it on, let's go through some of the features. It does have a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. It's the five inch screen up here, 1080p uh, Bravia Engine 2, as I said. On the back, you've got a 13 megapixel camera, single LED flash, T-Mobile logo. And again, this runs on T-Mobile's LTE network, which is available in seven markets right now. And what happens if you don't have service, you actually fall down to its HSPA plus 42 megabits per second network, which is actually pretty good. Other features on this while we're booting up include HD voice. Um, and again, the water resistance means you can drop it into three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. So not too bad. So we're looking at this together, but I got a preview with them uh, recently in a meeting with Sony. So I have an idea of what's on this phone. We've got the Walkman album, movies, Sony Select. Now we saw all of these features already when we reviewed this unit. So let's go through and see what else T-Mobile has added. We've got the mobile hotspot, T-Mobile TV, T-Mobile My Account, visual voicemail. And it looks like not much else, which is good because you sort of don't want all that um, bloatware, as I like to call it. T-Mobile left the FM radio intact as well. well. Let's go through some of the camera features. It has this nice... There we go. A little delay on the camera there. Sure, we'll have we'll turn on GPS. Yeah, whatever. Uh, auto. It's called Superior Auto Mode. Now this will automatically, if you're in the dark, say, let's see. You see that little icon that's popping up? It says low light. And now let's see if it'll automatically it'll go into a macro mode. You can see there's an icon there that says macro, so it automatically knows what to do when you have it in that mode so that you shoot the best effects. Um, and because it's water resistant, you can actually take this underwater too and shoot. Although. Usually this displays don't work underwater, so you're going to want to make sure you take that into account before you uh, take it below the surface. Two megapixel front facing camera here. Looks like we've got Lookout uh, mobile security installed on it. We see that popping up here, 20 updates out of the box. And I don't know what version of Android this is running, so let's check that. out. 4.1.2. Okay, so we're not running on 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, so it is slightly behind. Um, so everything feels super snappy. It's got the nice processor on there. Oh, there's a little bit of bloatware widgets if you want to deal with that. Okay, so now I've got the videos open. Let's take a look at this display here. See how nice it looks and check out the viewing angles. Look at the audio going too. The viewing angles look pretty good there. Uh oh. I'm not sure what just happened with that. Viewing angles look okay. The screen's really pretty looking. Colors are all popping out. Okay, so that's a quick look here at the T-Mobile Sony Xperia Z. It launches in July for $99 down, and it'll require $20 monthly payments for 24 months if you get approved for that credit uh, on T-Mobile's new Simple Choice plans. Anyway, quick look here. This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo.